this one began, and, and again, with the idea of archaeological sites as a resource and needing to conserve things. This was a remarkable site that was in the process of disappearing. And what we had here, if you look at this topographic map, this is from, I think, 1893 of, of uh, uh, Hinsdale, and this is Chesterfield. That's the Hinsdale-Chesterfield line. And you see these big islands in the river. Those islands were originally connected to the New Hampshire side of the river. So right at the base of Wintastic at Mountain, there was this nice big sandy terrace. Again, right down from the uh, confluence of the West River and just a mile or two up from the confluence of the Ashwillet River, a perfect place for Native people to live. And so in 1893, you see the island and it's been turned into an island because the river has, has cut a channel there. And then after that, with the construction of the Vernon Dam and the 1938 hurricane, this is a modern topographic map, and that island is pretty much gone. The only thing that was left was a tiny strip of land clinging to the side of Wintasket Mountain and falling into the river as we were working on it. So we worked on it as quickly as we could to uh, save the information that was there. Found all sorts of stuff. This is a site that had been repeatedly occupied for uh, more than 5,000 years. We found decorated pieces of pottery, uh, like these that you see here. Uh, we found uh, very nice stone tools, and again, the styles of these go from, this one here is about 500 to 700 years old, and the oldest ones go back to about 5,000 years old. We have a series of radiocarbon dates, and the deeper we go, the older the dates get, which is exactly what you'd expect. So this is a location where you can actually take one site and you can tell a story. You can say this is when it begins and then this happens and this happens and this happens and here are the things that change and here are the things that stay the same. Um, but of course it's in the process of disappearing like so many of our sites. This is a beautifully preserved uh, cooking hearth that we found and we had a radiocarbon date putting that at 4,400 years ago. It's one of the oldest finds from the site. And the most interesting thing we found as we're working away on this site, uh, we found small pieces of burned animal vertebra, okay? lots of them. And they weren't, they weren't from mammals, they weren't from deer or anything like that. They were fairly small. And as we're collecting them and very carefully packaging them up, we eventually sent them to our zooarchaeology team, and they all turned out to be snakes. Okay? Mm -hmm. And among the snakes, we actually had five different species of snakes, but the large majority of them were from the eastern timber rattlesnake. Uh, and these snakes still live on Wintastigit today, and these rattlesnake bones were found all through the sequence at the site. Now, this is not just interesting because people are doing something with rattlesnakes, but rattlesnakes are, to native cultures across much of North America, they are sacred animals. And so it leads us to ask, what was being done with these? Okay, why were they so important? Is this part of why people came to the site? We also had uh, one bone identified as northern copperhead, which is another venomous snake. Uh, and again, just a, a remarkable find, but in a site that is in the process of disappearing. Those are all our snake bones going down to almost a meter below the surface. So the, the whole sequence is full of rattlesnakes. <laughs> 